Assalamu alaikum dear friends I am engineer Saifullah and you are watching Saver Engineer at Side YouTube channel So friends today I get some time because my duty is in the night shift so I am going to share a video about the job market in Yom salaries of engineers in Yom and the other thing how you will know that there are vacancies in the neom so today i will share these three points in the video uh, first of all if you are a new viewer so subscribe to our youtube channel like the video and share it with your friends for interviews question and answer you can visit the playlist question and answer for interview if you need any kind of info about visa and different things in Saudi Arabia for engineers so you can visit the tips and tricks for engineer and visa info playlist so let's start the video first of all we will talk about the job market friends if you already visited the Neom so I think you will know about it but if you don't visit the Neom city whenever you enter the Neom city so you will see that everywhere there is a construction everywhere so obviously the job market is good in the Neom but there is a one thing for the experienced people the engineers who belongs to quality construction safety planning execution whatever their peer are but if they have a experience so they can get a job in the neom but if you are a fresh engineer like you are a fresh graduated so don't think about to come to neom if you have not a strong reference so the job market is good in the neom now the second question how you will get the job in the neom how you will know that i have already up uploaded a detailed video on this topic but i will explain it here again guys first you need to find out that which companies which consulting companies and which designer are working in the neom city i will give you some example like or company Beijing Emirates company are working Sandal Island here the second company is uh, Nesma third is Bin Zafra fourth is Al Rawabi uh, Keller Foundation they are working for foundation Jeddah Foundation and third party like lab technician Atiko Usaimi consultant are here are ACOM ETSD engineering services technical De uh, department of Neom very very tasks are working in their department okay jacobs and dar are the designer in sandal island so now what you have to do you have to visit the linkedin profile of these companies follow their profiles visit their website and upload your cv on their website if they need also make a strong profile on their website the third thing when you visit their uh, linkedin profile so you have to click on the people are employees working in this company when you click on the employ employees are people who are working in this company then you have to go to check the people who are working in the HR like recruiter recruiter recruitment specialist HR manager so you have to follow that people when you follow that people they also share the vacancies on their personal profiles mostly company shares the vacancies on their profile and also like Nesma they are sharing their vacancies on their website and the career portal so from there you can get the vacancies news and you can apply as per their requirement if you are eligible guys if you are a fresh in Saudi Arabia but you have experience four year five year in your country so you have to 
put that experience as a KXA experience in small companies to show that you already work in the Saudi Arabia because all the companies want uh, want the engineers who has a Gulf experience or Saudi Arabia experience. So you have to do that otherwise you will never get the job. So now the third thing how many years of experience you should have to work in the new there is a one document called schedule Q in the schedule Q Niyam explain everything about experience of engineer experience of the quality professionals and the other condition and terms for the contractors first but I, here I will discuss about the quality professional there are three position in the quality QC inspector QC engineer or QC inspector QC supervisor senior QC engineers are QC supervisor and then quality managers for QC inspector as per the NIAM requirements you should have a five years experience you should have a minimum five years experience so you will get the job in the NIAM projects for a QC supervisor you should have a minimum 12 years of experience here we have one senior QC inspector he has experience is 11 year and 6 months but his uh, uh, approval is rejected for QC supervisor so minimum experience for QC supervisor to work in the NIAM project is 12 years for QAQC managers you should have a ISO QMS uh, certification with 14 to 16 or 15 years of experience to work as a QAQC manager in the NIA. Now, that is for the this was for the quality. For site engineer, your experience should be from plus three years, three or more than three years, so you can get a job. But they will give priority to the high experienced people. So because there is no approval from NIAM for a site engineer so you can come with three years four year five years for planning engineers minimum experience is five years for QS also minimum experience is five years for safety minimum experience is five years also there is a safety inspector safety supervisor and safety managers and the same rules are applicable for the safety department as for the quality department now we will come towards the salaries i am a qc qqc engineer and in the niam i am a qqc inspector so at first i will tell you about the salaries for the quality professionals in the niam if your experience is five years and you get the NIAM approval so you can get salary from 8 to 10,000 for QAQC supervisor you can get a salary from 10 to 12 or 13,000 and for QAQC manager your salary should be 15 plus thousand but for a QAQC inspector if your salary uh, if your experience is 7, 8 years, 9 years so you can also get 11 11,000 11, 11,500 like that for site engineer it depends on your experience but if you have five year experience you can get a salary from 6 to 8,000 for planning engineer the same from 8 to 10 QS from 8 to 10 and pro, for safety inspectors if you, uh, you should get approval for safety inspectors so it's all be uh, for five year experience your salary should be from 6 to 8 if you have uh, experiences more than five years so maybe you will get a salary from eight to ten safety supervisor 10 to 12 safety managers around about 14 15 16 like that so guys i think i um, clear your all confusions whatever you ask me in the comment section so today i just make a video and the question you which you asked me in the comment section so i think i i clear your all confusion but if you have any questions you can ask me in the comment section you can contact me on the instagram linkedin links are available in the about section of the channel and 
kindly subscribe our youtube channel for more such a informative video thank you so much for watching